welcome to Eduit. In this session, we'll learn how or what determines the sex of a baby. Students, by now we know how the traits get transferred. We also know that both the male and the female gametes fuse to form the progeny. And we also know that the gametes are formed by the division of chromosomes. So, the main question is, are chromosomes solely responsible for determining the sex of the baby? Well, this varies from species to species. If we consider certain animal species, temperature plays a major role in determining the sex of the baby. For example, if we consider a species of turtles, the eggs hatching from the cooler temperature region hatches as all males whereas the eggs hatching in warmer conditions turn out to be all females. Similar is the case for another reptilian species. There is an alligator in which the eggs hatching from higher and colder temperature areas hatches all females. Only the eggs hatching in the intermediate temperature region hatches as males. And there are certain species of snails in which the individuals can transform themselves from males to females and vice versa. But this isn't the case for human beings. In human beings, the sex of the baby is determined genetically. Let us see how. We know that in a human cell, there are 23 pairs of chromosomes. Of this, 22 pairs are autosomes and they are same in both males and females. The difference is in the 23rd pair which is the sex chromosome. There are two types of sex chromosomes, the X chromosome and the Y chromosome. In males, both the X and the Y chromosomes are present. Therefore, half of the male gametes will have X chromosome and the other half will have the Y chromosome. But in females, only X chromosome is present, which means all the female gametes will have X chromosome. Students, in the chapter How Organisms Reproduce, we have learned that in case of humans, for a baby to be formed, both the male and the female gametes have to fuse. The sex of the baby depends on what happens at fertilization. Let's take two cases. The first case, if a sperm carrying an X chromosome fertilizes the ovum which already has an X chromosome, then the child born will be a female or a girl child. This is because the child will have the XX combination of sex chromosome. In the other case, if the sperm is carrying an Y chromosome and it fertilizes the ovum which already has an X chromosome, the child born will be a male or a boy. This is because the child will have the XY combination of sex chromosome. So we see that it is the sperm or the male gamete which is responsible for determining the sex of the baby. This is because half of the sperms will have the X chromosome and the other half will have the Y chromosome, which means there is an equal chance for the newborn to be a, either a boy or a girl. So students, in this session, we have learned how the sex of the baby is determined. And in case of human beings, it is the father who is responsible for determining the sex of the baby. In our next session, we will learn about evolution and how it is caused. Thank you.